The Guadalupe Mountains are not particularly high, or the canyons especially deep, yet they are possessed of a unique beauty, at once rugged and gentle, spiny and delicate, and they are riddled with hundreds of caves. It's become harder and rarer to find new areas, which is the constant quest of many cavers. This has resulted in a progressive shift away from a focus on low, crawly, horizontal leads and towards a new emphasis on vertical leads. The year is 1983. A pair of cavers, Michael Queen and Ron Kerbo, wait to be the first to reach an unexplored place over 200 feet above the main corridor of Carlsbad Cavern. What will our heroes find high above? How did they get a rope up there? Will it hold? Secretly, Michael Queen wonders if being a bachelor without children is what makes him the best candidate for the risky task ahead. So, what do you think the chances are that that passageway continues on up there? Well, uh, pretty good, I'd say. I, I bet this crag does parallel with the main corridor, so the lab will find at least something up there. Just think. This could be the rest of the main corridor. Yeah, it could be, and if we see it, we got you to thank. Now, that was kind of a crazy idea you posited to me, using helium balloons to get a line, followed by a rope up in there. You know, the first time you said that, I thought we were going to look like a bunch of poo bears, you know, using balloons, looking for honey up in the murky depths, but <laughs> here we are. You did seem a little bit surprised when I first threw that idea at you, but in the end, it worked out pretty well. But just think, now we're going to be the first people to ever set foot up in that passageway. Well, a little surprised. Yeah, it sounded crazy, but as they say about crazy ideas, I guess they're not crazy until they work. Yes, it was a good idea to get that line up there and the rope following it, so not crazy as it seems then. Well, to be fair, we did have our fair share of setbacks. Yeah, we did. The first time we got the line up there, Ryers were going to get that rope around the formation. Smack! In 20 feet of rope. Right back down to the floor. What? Disappointing. Yeah. It took a lot of resources and it took a lot of people to help, too. Yeah, well, thankfully they had a whole army of volunteers. We had superintendents, elevator attendants, park rangers, and guides. I mean, by the end of it, we really just had an army of daisy ducks sucking on that helium filling those balloons. But, <laughs> oh well. Yeah, in the end, it's going to be worth it. We're going to get to see something new, and we're going to protect the cave. I mean, can you imagine if we had had to hammer in all those climbing points and smashing all those pins into the cave wall? Yeah, I could. I mean, if it was limestone, I'd feel okay about it, but up in the main corridor where there's all that sandstone, if there's one rock in the quads I don't trust, it's sandstone. We could have done damage to the cave and did it wrong. We could have had damage done to ourselves, too. I promise you're going to be all right. I've spent plenty of nights in the last couple of years on my back, looking up there with binoculars, shining up spotlights to make sure there wasn't any fractures, there wasn't too much sandstone. You're going to be good. Well, that's good. You've done your part then. I guess I have to do mine now and climb up this rope. But you can do one more part for me as I do my part. Make sure uh, everything's, you know, cinched in, right? Looking good. Let's take a look. Those are done here. Yeah, they're all nice and settled back into it. No, looks good. All right. I guess I better get this thing started. Let me get this back on here real quick. You're gonna be all right. We tested this line plenty, and uh, none of those folks were exactly lightweights. Thanks. <laughs> Descending rack handy, just in case. Just what was up there? Exhaustion prevented further exploration that evening, but Ron Kerbo and Michael Queen returned later that summer with a third caver, Matt Stafford, joining them for the investigation. Michael remained below, and Matt led the climb up a 35-foot slope. Despite their hopes, 
the newly discovered balloon ballroom was not much larger than could be seen from below. They collected the balloon scraps and pulled down their ropes. All that remains from their adventure is a scrap of paper and a film canister bearing three names. Although the balloon ballroom was a letdown, similar techniques were used a few years later to reach the spirit world high above the big room.